Hi, I'm Ryan Dumlau, Senior Product Manager on the Photoshop team. I'm here today to give you an exciting sneak peek at a brand new feature that we've been working on for Photoshop on the iPad, Adobe Camera Raw. You'll be able to import any RAW file that Camera Raw supports, whether it's from your digital camera or the Pro RAW format from your brand new iPhone 13 Pro. You'll be able to harness the RAW sensor data of your file to make the most important and dynamic adjustments of your photo right here on the iPad. So let's give it a try. We'll start here on the home screen and I'll import a photo that I took when I was in Japan with my Fuji camera. It's a raw photo, so I'll get the camera raw mode. I can hit auto, get some really quick adjustments, but I want to have a bit more control. So I'll bring down the highlights a bit more, make Mount Fuji a bit more apparent. I'll go to my color to make it just a little bit cooler. And then I'll bring out some of those reds and those oranges at the gate just to have those pop out a bit more. I can then go add a little bit of texture and some clarity to the image, just make it a little bit sharper and maybe give it some grain just to give it some more character. And finally, I'll just add a slight vignette to the photo to give some focus to the center. I'll then import this as a smart object. That's right, a smart object. We're giving the ability to bring your photo in as a camera raw smart object so that you can take this PSD and open it up on Photoshop desktop and still have your embedded raw file as well as all your adjustments. So I see here though that, that the ropes have a bit of an orange tint to them. So I want to get rid of that a little bit. So I'll pick my object selection tool and I'll just select the ropes really quickly. And then I'll add an adjustment layer to pull out the saturation from those ropes and make them more match the center of the rope as well. Really quick. The next thing I want to do is get rid of some of these branches. So I'm going to take my Apple pencil. I'm going to switch to the spot healing brush. You'll notice that I'm selecting the camera layer. I can actually start brushing directly onto that smart object and it will create a new linked layer. This is something that's specific to the iPad right now. So we don't want you to be blocked in any of your workflows. So if you try to take any action on a smart object, we will just add a linked layer or duplicate the layer for you. So really quickly with the power of my pencil, I can precisely heal out all of these branches. And now I've got my finished photo. So with the power of Camera Raw, Photoshop on the iPad and the Apple Pencil, I can really quickly bring in this photo, give it a nice touch and brush out the areas that I don't want to see. And that's a really quick run through of Camera Raw and Photoshop on the iPad. Thank you.